this landing page generated $140,000 in five months. To create it, I followed a proven framework. It's the same framework that I've used for over 300 marketing projects and landing pages. And in this video, I'm going to give you a full breakdown of this landing page structure. So you can actually reuse this framework in order to create your landing page. So if you are a founder or a marketer and you need to create a landing page for your business, this video is made for you. So make sure that you watch it until the end because I'm going to give you all the parts that you need to have inside your landing page. But also the mistakes that you should avoid and how to put the right level of information. Not too much information, but enough for your prospects to understand what you're selling and to persuade them to work with you. All right, so let's start with the first step. And before you actually start creating the landing page or even writing it, you should ask yourself those questions. It's a list of seven questions that you need to ask yourself in order to make sure that your landing page will answer the problems of your audience. First question, who is the target audience of the page? Second question, what problem does the page address and fix? Third, what is the objective of the page? Is it to get some leads or to book calls or to sell? Number four, what is the source of traffic for this landing page? Is it coming from paid ads, emails, or maybe organic content on LinkedIn, for example. Then where in the journey is the page? Is it at the beginning of the journey? So it's more like a discovery for your audience or is it at the end of the journey just before they buy? So you need to answer this question as well. Then what is the main message of the page? So what you're going to share in terms of value proposition and messaging. And last question, which is also very important, how will you measure success? Let's say if you launch the landing page right now, how can you measure that it's a success or a failure in three months from now? After you answer those questions, you should move on to the step two, which is to understand the two important elements, the inputs and the outputs. So the inputs is where is the traffic coming from? So you need to keep in mind this information while you are writing the landing page. And second information is the output. So where is the traffic going? When you are very clear with those two information, you can move on to start writing the page. All right, now let me break down this winning landing page for you and we'll start from the hero section. The objectives of the hero section is to give three important information for your audience. The first one, your audience needs to feel concerned. They need to think, okay, this is for me. Secondly, you need to make it crystal clear what you are selling. Your audience need to feel like, okay, I understand what they are selling. And then it needs to trigger curiosity so your audience needs to feel curious so they want to learn more and read the rest of the page. If your hero section covers those three objectives, you did a good job. So as you can see on my example, you have different elements. So the first element here is a tag. So I say content marketing course. Here I make sure that my audience understands that this is a course. Then there is the H1. This is the value proposition of my course. So here you need to be very specific on what they are going to get. What will be the outcome of this product, this solution? Here it's important to be specific and if you need to explain your capability to make it clear, then there is a short paragraph with two sentences that gives more information about the course. So here you should have more details about your product, your solution and your value proposition. You can also insert your main capability and your main benefits. Then of course you should add a CTA, so a call to action. And when they click on the CTA, they move on to the next step. Then you can also add a video sales letter. So in the video sales letter, you will give more context about your solution, about the problem that you are fixing and exactly what is inside your solution. So you can actually persuade your audience to start working with you thanks to this VSL. The next part is to have testimonials or other social proof elements because no one wants to be the first one to start working with you or using your product. So if you don't have customers yet, you should find free clients and get testimonials from them. It's very important to add testimonials or other social proof such as logo or press reviews just after your hero section so your audience understand that they are not the first one, that you have some proof to back up your claims. Then here is a bonus section that you can add. As you can see, it's not on my landing page, but you can explain the problem to give more context about the problem you are solving for your audience. This will help you to introduce your offer as the solution to a painful problem for your audience. Then you can explain the details of your offer. 
So here, what I chose to do is to give three main elements. So learn from a content marketing top creator, create content with checklists and templates, and third, get support from other content marketers on Slack. So here, those are three benefits that my clients can get out of this course. And then I have a small paragraph below each title in order to give more information. So here, this section, you should make sure that your audience feel like, okay, those are interesting points for me. So that's why you need to do some research before actually writing your page. You need to make sure that what you are writing is interesting and that is solving a problem of your audience. Then I included more information about me because when you are selling a course, you need to show who is the teacher, who is the coach, because it's a very important aspect. If you have a service, it's also really important to include who is in the team and who will take care of the job. But if you have a product, you should share a customer story instead. In the next section, I explain the benefits of the course. So here it's an important part to tell them what will be the outcome after they use your solution. So you explain the benefit that they get out of the solution and what will be the outcome after they use it. Here you need to position your solution as a bridge from a problem, so a painful situation, to a dream outcome and a new situation without the problem. All right, next you can move on to the zigzag section. I call it zigzag because first the picture is on the left, then is on the right and then it's on the left. So here you should have four different elements. First, you should have a title that explain a feature of your product or explain what is inside exactly. Second, you should have a paragraph, so two sentences that gives more details about the title. Then you can add some bullet points, like two to three bullet points that explain more about this specific section. And then you can add an image or even better, a GIF that is actually an illustration of this title. In the zigzag section, you can have three to five different elements. Above five, it will be a bit too much. And in my opinion, the best is to have three elements, especially if you have a product or a service. If you are selling a course like me, this is a great way to introduce the different things that your audience will learn exactly. So here I included the different modules. And then I also included on my landing page the prices for my different options. So one at 590 and one at 2750. So it's uh, one of them, they do it on their own. And the second one, they can do it with me. So it's a done with you service. So here, if you are hesitating between putting the price on the website or not, ask yourself this question. First, if it's a course or a product, it's better to add the price on the page. But if it's a service or a coaching program, you should put it only if you shared authority, content and value upfront. And if you didn't do this with organic content, you should tell the price in a call. So first you explain the program in a call and then you give the price. This will give more context about the price. And so people will understand why your pricing is high. All right, so the last section that I've added here, it's the frequently asked questions. This is very important and useful. So when you get answers from different clients, you can analyze the patterns and use those questions to add them in your frequently asked question part in your landing page. All right, so now you have a great overview of this landing page, which generated over $140,000 dollars in five months so what you should do is to replicate this structure if you like this video make sure to like it and subscribe and you can find more information about my course which is about content creation but also how to generate revenue with content marketing you can find the link to the course in the description of this video and i will see you in the next video